Welcome back, Fearless Dojo here. We're on our next episode of Midnight Suns. And we're gonna continue on. We're supposed to talk to Tony. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's weird that that's their mouse scroll wheel. The mouse scroll wheel opens your objectives. Complete fiasco. You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. Thank you, I agree. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed. Tony's out of his costume. Hey, for what it's the worth, suit. I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chain mail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. <laughs> Get where? Thanks. Think you could have done better? It is doubtful you could have done better. If you could, you would not have raised me from the dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go all rabid zombie demon on me. It was just a little constructive criticism. You did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. <laughs> He's scared. He's afraid. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. There's nothing to be scared of. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Open present. Got plus one friendship with Iron Man. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. <laughs> I call it the Wonder Man rule. First we make one to leave. Now we have now we leave it or die. Some heroes. Ilyana Rasputin. I assure you that is not the case. She was sent to you for protection. I've seen how that worked, Supreme Sorcerer. We both know it's more complicated than that, Miss Rasputin. I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason. Have faith she can handle herself. Strange did it, Blade. Strange that everything he could to get out to to get Wanda out. To get to Wanda. So did I and the hunter. Take a breath, Ileana. We'll get her back soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Of that, I am in agreement. Bobby Race, first post. Nico, what do you mean? We've had Superlink for months now. We use it every day. I meant first post that the hunter sees. Robbie, you can't can't keep doing this when someone new joins Superlink. Yes, I can. He means he will throw your spark in the lagoon. He wouldn't do that, right, Blade? 
Right, Blade? Fine, last time. Alright. Heroes. Iron Man's level 3. Inventory. I got something in that. Okay. Explore your room. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. Gloss earned for missions can be spent to unlock new cosmetic options for the hunter and heroes, including outfits to wear around the abbey. Select and purchase a new outfit for the hunter now. I like this one. The outfit has been added to your inventory. I wonder why he's got a collar on. Inspect the journal page, closet, and painting. We were all so happy then. Painted by Sally Owens, oil on canvas. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out and beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Like Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad. My old journal. Complete item collection to keep special I rewards. In it again. Go to sleep. He's jacked. He is jacked. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence. The scary dog. I think he has another present for you. Hi, kiddo. Next thing I know, the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. Let's talk later, Hunter. Tony will start pouting if you keep him waiting too long. Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. 
Do I look like a Tony? I'm a vampire. I see everything. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. <laughs> Perhaps you should just try it on. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Hey, look, he looks good. Still think I could have used a cloak. Cloaks aren't practical. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I, st I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? I appreciate the effort. Probably a little too soon to tell, don't you, don't you think? Why is there a demon in the forge? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. What's so special about the new suit, anyway? I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. Sounds impressive, but what does it all mean? So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. You don't seem to like magic Is much. all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. You see anything strange around the Abbey? Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! <laughs> but on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. You're not scared, are you? I suppose it could be worse. I am sure there are worse places to be. Oh, true. I could be rooming next to Carol. Her snoring is loud enough to wake the dead. Ah, uh, really, really tired people. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy we have a place free from Lilith's influence. While it lasts. Your story, Tony. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. 
Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. You seem well adjusted enough, considering. Exactly, which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Fair enough. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? I'm honestly more worried about you. Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. A cream for In brains. In any event. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago, but I miscalculated. Don't blame yourself. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. What exactly is Venom? A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. Liz seems to have found other uses for him. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. About the Sanctum Wards of Protection? Tell me about your Sanctum's Wards of Protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. 
The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. New York, you said the words had never been broken? And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. What exactly happened? That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Floating candles. Analyze the gamma coil. Gamma coil analysis. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so <laughs> I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it coil for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Analyzing gamma like coils. When the start can use coil material covered in combat to create hero abilities. Only one of the abilities on offer can be selected, so choose wisely. Real new Take abilities. Pick, Quick slash. Make him bleed. Life steal. Uh... Big Tony Forge of Mystery. We never close. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. You have gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If taken to the yard, duplicate abilities can be combined into new, more powerful versions. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. The star. Nova rises up into the starry night sky, surrounded by stars that represent the support of his team. This card symbolizes serenity and hope for the future. Okay, that's kind of cool. Nova's a ridiculously powerful character. I don't think he's in the game. Maybe he is, but I don't think so. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Yes, about you. I did. But they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. 
Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Uh. Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. <laughs> so, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. <laughs> That's hilarious. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. Have you always been a half vampire? How did you become a dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How old are you? How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories. Almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. How did you get here? What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About 10 years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. About the Midnight Suns. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. You seem like a loner. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Nico. Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart. And that's why we let her. Who else? Robbie. What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends. And once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anybody else? Magic. What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. We might. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. 
You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anyone else? You got said, Blaine. Nobody else. Sure. What do you think of them in that sense? Do you sense? have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this? Or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? We should train. I am ready to train. Finally. Upgrade an ability. Ready for more? The hero possesses two copies of an ability that can be combined to create a new, more powerful version. Make them bleed. Draw two cards, the next three damage cards apply to bleed. Make them bleed. Do your thing. Like the way you move out Don't there, think those Hunter. dumb mills do Guess much Dr. for you. Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Go in a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous, invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. There has to be a way inside. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Steve is Steve Rogers, Captain America. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? <laughs> You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Hello. If you're looking for a hug, try Blade. What we got going on back here? Ooh, what did I find? A Blade's car? Big map. I'm surprised. Guessing not too. Guessing we haven't really unlocked anything. They're probably pigeonholed me pretty hard right now. Just kind of show me the ropes of the game, which is fine. Once we get past these first handful of missions, I'm sure it opens up a little bit. Hmm. See a conversation. What's up? Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sup? I don't think Blade would say that. It's a box. It's another box. Embers swirl in this cloudy crystal, almost too hot to touch. Its surface glows like liquid fire. Glyphs of smoke resolve and re resolve and vanish around a core of obsidian glass.
Probably time to head out, right? Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Ow. The Gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the Gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, <laughs> you're being serious? <sighs> That's a pretty good line. We should be able to track this new Gamma signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. <laughs> Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah. Well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. The two of us on the mean streets of New York, evildoers beware. All right, we'll end this episode here. We'll start out in a mission next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed it so far. Post a comment if you want to chat. Subscribe if you want to continue watching more videos. I'm Fearless Dojo. Godspeed.